one thing I love about the holiday is spending time with my family. It's just so nice to have everyone together to carry on the traditions we created years ago. And another mom who shares these values, these family values, is Lucille O'Neill, mother of basketball star Shaquille O'Neal. And Lucille joins us today. Thank you so much. It's good to see you this afternoon. It's my pleasure. Hello. Hello. Well, first of all, it, it's so fitting that Thanksgiving falls in the middle of National Family Week. Tell us about your holiday traditions with Shaq and the rest of your family. I am so excited about National Family Week, but I encourage us all to make Family Week every week. And I, I want to tell you about our traditions. They're beginning to change since our children are older, but we used to come together in one special place, the kitchen, and we would begin to establish great family relationships there. That's where Shaquille learned how to make his own macaroni and cheese, and my daughters learned how to make simple desserts, and we came together to communicate in the kitchen, and we still do that today. Yeah, and with uh, four children, I'm sure you have a very busy family life. How do you create new traditions with your family, and what would you tell families families who want to do the same? Well, because our, our children have gotten older, they have children of their own, so instead of them coming to me, well, I began to go to them. So we're branching out right now. We're going to visit our, our grandchildren. But I would say that if you come together as a family, learn how to communicate with one another, and instead of just saying I love you, learn how to show love. And love is coming together, where you can reach out and touch somebody. And it's a wonderful thing to have love in your family. Yeah, and, and you are now an author. You have a new book out, Walk Like You, Have Somewhere to Go. Tell us a little bit more about that book that book is really I call it a memoir in the publishing world but it's my testimony and it covers 40 years of my life but I share my life with the rest of the world a lot of people knew me as Shaq's mom but they're beginning to learn about Lucille if they're able to read the book and I talk about where I was and I talk about the happy place I'm in now I'm, I'm happy to be having relationships, a meaningful relationship with the Boys and Girls Club of America and learning about the ways the corporations partner with them and Maytag and the Boys and Girls Club of America have established a great partnership and I'm excited about those things that are happening right now. Yeah, and we have a copy of the book right here with your picture on it. Thank you so much for sending that to us. And of course, uh, a very famous person actually wrote the foreword to the book. Shaq, tell us about that. Well, Shaquille has been the one to push me. I've been wanting to write a book for a long time. So a few years ago, a couple years ago, actually, he encouraged me to go ahead and get started. And he introduced me to a special young lady, Miss Allison Samuels, and she was able to help me put the book in order so that you can read it and understand it. And he really encouraged me. And so I tell children today, that it's important that you reach out and touch. And I tell parents to make an investment in their children. And I'm excited because I know from experience that the Boys and Girls Club is doing that. And I'm excited about Maytag is partnering with them to do that so that we can all come together and uh, discipline children and have meaningful relationships and really be dependent upon one another just like families should be doing. Right, right. Now Lucille Shaquille is known for his personality both on the court and off the court. What's it like being his mom? I love the personality he has. I've never saw him sad too many times but I love that he's bubbly and I love that he's positive and I think that even going through some tough times when we can show our positive side and just be happy where we are, I think that it's good that you can be around somebody like that. He's a great person and a great man. Yeah, and he's not here right now, so you can actually tell us something we might not already know about Shaquille. You know mothers never tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave it at that, even though mother to mother. Well, Lucille, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. It was such a pleasure speaking with you, and I hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving. You have a wonderful Thanksgiving, too. Thank you so much. All right. And for more information on what Lucille discussed this afternoon, go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the show tab. Up next on Del Marble Life, getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner, you might want to change things up a little bit this year. How about instead of turkey, another delicious dish? We're in the kitchen with that next. But first, if you're putting together that big dinner, you're going to need all your energy. Here's Dr. Oz with some simple solutions to keep you going. Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. An energy crisis is taking place in America. To refuel, drink half coffee and half low-fat milk. 
the dairy protein will help keep your blood sugar stable. Tyrosine, an amino acid, boosts energy. Take 500 milligrams three times a day. And for an afternoon pick-me-up, try wheatgrass juice, an energizing superfood. 